What is going on, people? Gear up, man. We got a crazy fight here. It is Ed Parker versus Papa Doc, and the winner of this fight faces Romero. And let's go down memory lane. Papa Doc has not lost a fight since he's since he began his journey throughout this tournament. He is on a tear. And as far as Ed Parker, the same thing could be said. Both of these guys have not yet dropped a fight in this tournament. Clean, clean, clean. That's for sure. But let's get in on this fight. The winner of this one faces Big Daddy Romero. Let's go. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but inside it's so delightful. Sorry, I kind of stumbled there. It is snowing like crazy here in Canada, man. And I thought nothing's better than to sit down with a nice hot cup of Nespresso coffee and commentate over some fights. So here we go. Apologize for the mirror match, but that's how things are going down, man. It's Ed Parker in red, Papa Doc in blue. Oh, nice two-piecer right there, followed by a body kick by Parker. And it's crazy how Ed Parker started out <laughs> this fight in Orthodox. Throwing, <laughs> probably throwing off Papa Doc. But what we're going to see here, and I want to, before I get into it, I want to thank you so much for tuning in, is we're going to see a meticulous style by Ed Parker. He's just going to be looking to touch his opponent. That's what he does. Use that elite defense, and let's see if Papa Doc can overwhelm him. He's throwing some nice shots early. Papa Doc just needs to forget about who he's facing and continue his epic run throughout the course of this tournament. Oh, he's got to be careful with that. <laughs> Ed Parker, in my opinion, it's <laughs> like I say it about Unibot. It's almost like you're facing a robot, man. This guy does not make many mistakes. Nice knee to the body. Parker, Parker following it up with a jab and body uppercut. Nice blocks by Papa Doc. And with a straight to the body. I love that. I love that combo. It's so quick. Jab to the body and then pops right up for a hook. Oh, look at Parker. Oh my goodness. Down goes Papa. It was a boom, 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 real quick. And we were talking about that in one of the other videos, that the, the fight can just turn upside down in a heartbeat, you know? One little step-in mistake by Papa Doc. It was almost like Ed Parker. He kind of frame-trapped him, stopped him in his tracks, and then unloaded a deadly combo. And now Papa Doc is... Uh, Dropping this round, but you know, I've said it before. You know, you, you get dropped like that, there's no harm in just hanging back, dropping this first round, and then coming back a little more refreshed in the second. Oh, big rock a rooney right there. But don't forget, Parker did get that drop, so he's still leading. But that's got to be a good confidence booster for Papa Doc. And let's be honest, man. If Papa Doc shows his A game, he could take out Parker. And no disrespect to Ed Parker. I'm a huge fan of Ed Parker. But at this point, if somebody's off their game and one guy's on their A game, it's anyone's fight. Wow. If he, kept a, if he was a foot more farther away from Parker's head, that would have been a rock or a drop. So we're seeing some good things from Papa Doc here in the last couple minutes of that first round you got to give it to the champ though in that first round getting the drop the replays you know when they show the replays of a fighter you know nine times out of ten they won the round so here we go second round second round let's see what happens Papa Doc he he's looking for that high kick he's got to be careful though Parker may try to stay in. See how he's doing that? He may try to stay in a little closer just to avoid that deadly kick. Oh, nice by Papa Doc. He's still looking for it. He's faking it. Oh, and now he went up the middle. That's the thing. Papa Doc, <laughs> he loves that. He loves throwing that high kick. He's faking it. And then he's got to use his hands and then bring back that high kick. Oh, there it is. He's, he brought it right back. And maybe he found a little kink in the armor of Parker. Parker getting hit right here. Parker needs to regroup. 
Fantastic stuff. By Papa. Nice. And Parker's head. Look at that. Top left corner. His head was really on. It was really flashing right there. My opinion, we're at the point here where both guys have been rocked a couple of times. One guy's been dropped. This is anyone's fight. Gotta bring your A game. You gotta have ice in the veins. <laughs> and that's what separates these guys from all of us, man. Let's be honest. These guys know when to rise to the occasion when things get dicey. I have actually been doing really well on ranked. Started playing again and <laughs> I've been tearing it up. Oh, smelly axe kick. Was that an axe kick or a front kick? Nice. Sway back by Parker. And if you look here, guys, man, like Parker's got that crazy stamina advantage. And that'll allow him to open up later on in the fight. One Papa Doc's going for that home run kick. Now it's been registered in the memory bank of Parker. He knows to be careful with that kick. Nice combo right there, just tearing up the body. It's crazy how the momentum was all in Papa Doc's corner in the first couple of minutes of this round. And then things have just turned now to Parker, to Parker's side, and it's all because of that stamina. And again, he doesn't like to whiff too much. It's not like he, he likes to, he doesn't. He always tries to hit up the block or connect. Oh, nice job by Parker. Oh, no, it's over. Just like that. That is nuts because it didn't seem like Papa Doc was taking a lot of damage. You know what I mean? Like, usually you would have to, you know, take a lot of blows for, for the fight to stop like that. But that's because Parker's got... He had a lot of stamina and he was using Conor McGregor. But here we go. Second fight. And Parker is electing to use Wonderboy Thompson. And Papa Doc is sticking with McGregor. And stylistically, this is this is a great fight, but the length of Thompson should definitely help Parker stay on the outside. Nice sidestep, though, by Papa Doc. That's the thing. <laughs> if you're a guy that's getting suckered into those body kicks, sidestep, man. Sidestep over, and it will um, give you opportunities to counter fight, and it will save your body, that's for sure. Let's see what happens. Again, like I said, that reach, that length, my opinion, may be the factor here. But if Papa Doc can just ease up, big boy, not whiff. You know what I mean by whiff? Like, you just punching air. Punching air in this game and in real life, it taxes the stamina. Even when he feints that kick, it does a little number on the stamina. If you keep on doing that could affect your fighter completely. But he's doing a nice job at pressuring Parker. Parker do is doing a nice job at circling to his left. He's trying to back away and hit him up with shots. He's touching him. Parker's touching him. But see, the thing is, Parker's not stopping his movement. He's moving that, moving the feet, the good old happy feet. Nice little fadeaway body kick. Good job by Papa Doc. Hitting up the body and then going up high. Parker throwing that jab out there, trying to stifle the combos. He's definitely trying to stifle the combos of Papa Doc. You stop your opponent in your tracks when you can land that jab. Oh, nice job at grabbing the leg and then punishing with that shot. Oh, nice job. We're seeing a different element of Ed Parker. The moving kicks. <laughs> Gotta love it. One thing, though, he's got to be so careful with Papa Doc's power, man. You've got McGregor. You've got to respect it. Good job on Parker getting on his bicycle. Nice. This is good, though, for Papa Doc, though, because he's making Parker work. Making Parker work and... Nice, good job at avoiding that kick. And hopefully he'll tax that stamina. Nice kick. Very, very close round. Nice. 
Both guys landing. <laughs> He's trying that kick again. Nice chain attack. Those chain attacks are just crazy. Wonder if one of the guys are gonna go to the stat sheet to see. I don't know. It's a coin. It's a coin flip. <laughs> a coin flip. That's what I just said. Here we go. I need another coffee. I ordered some Nespresso pods. Oh my gosh. If you're not into, if you're into coffee and you haven't gotten yourself a Nespresso, gotta get it. Pods are kind of expensive, but it's worth it. Here we go. Back to the fight. Look at this. This guy is awesome. Papa Doc, the greatest roundhouse kick in the game. You know who else is a great kicker? A Bathing Ash. Whatever happened to a Bathing Ash? Hopefully he's still watching these videos. That guy was awesome. Great kicker. So right here, we definitely have Papa Doc with the good old momentum on his side. Let's see if he can keep it up. Parker will ramp up the the pressure a little bit though. Knowing that he's down in this round. Nice. I, you know what's cool about Papa Doc? He's hesitant with the kick. He, he delays. That's what I mean. He kind of delays a second and then throws it. But he plants his feet for optimal power. Nice. Good three-piece right there. Oh, see? I love that. A little slight delay and boom. But Parker's uh, he's understanding when he's going to throw it. So he's got to be careful with it. Nice. I think Papa Doc needs to continue to pressure him. Can't give Parker a lot of space. Parker switching. Oh you know, yeah, now he goes back into Southpaw. It's crazy with Thompson. Obviously he doesn't have that wicked power with his punches. But he does have it with his kicks. So... You know, you're not going to get uh, the rocks that you would get using McGregor when you use Thompson. Parker realizes that. He's got to pop in and out. Nice straight right there. Oh, look at this. Papa Doc getting a little too greedy and Parker taking advantage of the exposed head area. And Papa Doc's trying to get it right back. Parker leaning back. <laughs> The old lean back action. He's looking for that lean back shot. Nice. We haven't seen a lot of slip straights by Parker, but he uses it at the key moment right here. Crazy stuff. Now, do you still... Oh, nice. I was going to say, do you still give this round to Papa Doc for that drop? And then he just got the rock. High level second round. Oh, man. Taking his chances. You got to take your chances in this game. If you don't take your chances, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to get that big KO. You're not going to get that big W. If you're a passive fighter, you can't be too passive. And Papa Dog, he's going for it. I would have to say, let me put my Eddie Bravo hat on. I would have to say it's 1 1. It's got to be 1 1. So here we go. Whoever. Wins this third round. <laughs> My opinion is going to win this fight. And Parker could play a little loose knowing that if, even if he drops this fight, he's got that next fight. But Papa Doc's fighting for his tournament life right here. And he's in a realm that he hasn't been <laughs> been in all tournament long. And that's being down in a, in a best 2-3 to three matchup. Oh, nice little Michael Jackson spin move by Parker. Parker's doing a great job at just staying just a little bit out of that kicking range. Nice sidestep by Papa. He's staying just a little bit out. Oh, nice. Trying to avoid that killer roundhouse kick. And Papa Doc tried to go for a beautiful sidestep. That's one thing that I'm trying to add to my game. That sidestep. I'm, I'm moving my head a lot these days. I'm utilizing the slip straight action, various combos, changing up my shots. Uh oh. I gotta continue to add to my game. Nice head movement. Great rock by Papa Doc. Papa Doc taking the early lead in this third round. 
with that little wobble right there. Oh, and another one. Oh, nice. Great job by Papa Doug, but fantastic head movement. Parker taking a chance. Man, if he hit him up with a hook, a right hook, this fight would have been done. But Papa Doc's feeling really good here. He's got to keep it up. Nice job. Hmm, <laughs> just get on your bicycle. What was his name against Nate Quarry? Was it Caleb Starnes? <laughs> Remember that for all you old school guys? He ran the whole fight trying to get the decision. But is Parker going to take some chances here? He must know that he's down. Uh-oh. Parker's hurt. And dropped. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be going to a third fight. This is crazy. And it's not... Everybody knew it wasn't going to be easy for Parker. And fantastic job by Papa. He's hurt again. Oh my gosh. This looks like it's done. Parker can't take any more flush shots to the head or he's going to go 30 seconds. Parker taking a chance on that kick. Oh, he rocked him. Rocked him with that. No way. No way. I honestly thought that Ed Parker was out for the count. And he pulls a rabbit out of his you-know-what and <laughs> gets the victory. That might be one of his greatest victories in these tournaments that we've run for the past couple of years. Holy smokes. That just has, has me speechless, people. But mad ups to Papa. I think I just made that up. Mad ups. Who says that? I do. But mad respect for Papa Duck. He had him. He had the champ. But the champ continues on, and it's going to be a rematch. Remember, in one of my previous PS4 tournaments, Parker kind of disrespected Romero by using Clay the Carpenter Guida and eliminated Romero. But now Romero's gotten so much better. I don't know if you heard about Marshall Mind in one of his tweets saying how Romero's like one of the most improved fighters in this game. He's one of the best fighters in the world. That's going to be a barn burner. Don't forget about Unibot Swisslebox on the other side of the bracket. Can't wait to bring you guys the semis. Anyhow, guys, this is Ricky J Baby from Ricky J Sports. Have a great day, and don't forget, you are awesome. Here we go, people! My top 10 KOs while playing UFC 3 Beta, and we're using Ferguson right away in an onslaught of KOs to start our countdown at number 10. Nice little dance moves by Ferguson, and that was all just adding a little simplicity to your striking game and adding a little pressure to pop, 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 pop. Who's making popcorn? And at number 9, we have the old Ricky J combos in effect, bringing it back from UFC 2. Are we going to see a down low up high people? Here we go. Hitting him up. Down low. Up high. Actually missed with the down low, but hit him with the up high right there. And it was nighty night. Who says that you can't use the UFC 2 combos in this game? You can, but only at certain spots and only with certain guys, man. But that was a nice little KO. Adding a little bit of my history with respect to my striking game and putting it into UFC 3 going low and then sneaking one up high here we go at number eight I'm using McGregor and it was a nice little I believe it was a five-piece combo what are we at KFC people and it was nighty night for Ferguson let's look at that one two three four actually it was a four piece put up with the fries and gravy on the side here we go number seven i am poye and it was a one punch ko and down goes nate diaz man no need for a replay let's get it on number six i'm ferguson putting some pressure on alvarez alvarez is running he's in zombie mode you know alvarez gets like that and it was pop 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 with ferguson and right there one punch and look at the quivering of alvarez go doing a little twitch on the bottom right there and it was that one punch just kind of slipping to the side and hitting him 
and putting the lights out saying, Good night, I read you a bedtime story. Time to go to bed. Right here, boom. Oh, it was the one before. It was the one before. Right there, slipping, and bam. Here we go, number five, people. Again, it's Ferguson time against a great striker in Barbosa. And it's pressure time. And I'm looking for a nice little uppercut. And there it is. A one punch KO by Ferguson. And the fans are going crazy. I love his little breakdance move right there. <laughs> Oh, man, but it was so nice to get this KO. That's why it's at number five because it's a guy that I was facing that was really good in the stand-up game, and it was that one-punch uppercut. You guys got to try the uppercut. I know it's kind of uh, hard to use, but you got to give it a shot. Here we go, people, number four, and it's Pettis time. Add in some pressure. I stunned McGregor. Go for some nice little overhand, and then it was pop, 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 rapid fire shots right there. And it was Jab City for the KO. But it was so cool, man, just seeing McGregor hit his head on the canvas right there. <laughs> he was nighty night, and I was going crazy. I was running around the house, man, waking everybody up because you don't really see that that much in UFC 2. You really got to put a lot of punches into your opponent's head to get a KO like that in UFC 2. And I wasn't expecting that, and that was a crazy KO. But let's get in on the top three. I am pumped up. I am ready to go, and I can't wait to show you guys. Here we go. So, I am Alvarez, putting pressure on Nate, man, putting some pressure. Looking to pick my spots, I rock him and boom, boom, boom! Oh, a three-piece! It was a three-piece, and on the way down, I'm like, Hey, Nate, how about an uppercut? Yo, man, yo, this is Nate Diaz, man. Sorry to cut this a little short, but, you know, it's not fair that you put me in the highlight, and it's actually a low light for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell my brother Nick, I'm going to tell Gilbert Melendez, Jake Shields, you know, Cesar Gracie to come after you, Ricky, man. That's not undone. That's undone, but let's get into the top two baby let's get in the top two but all joking aside that was a crazy ko and it was nice to piece those punches to get together man and alvarez man his boxing is unbelievable is he really that good in real life i don't know maybe ea sports got a tone down alvarez a stand-up game because he is amazing but let's resume get in on number two here we go, people, number two and i was facing a high level striker man the whole fight i was getting beat up and but the problem was that my opponent was getting cocky doing some flashy kicks and you can't play games in the octagon here we go baby he's trying all these crazy things and watch this man it's coming up it's coming up it's coming up he's fainting he's hurting me and then watch this he tries that and bang <laughs> it's over nighty night you can't play games in the octagon ask anderson silva baby that was just brutal but the reason this uh, clip right here is at number two. This KO is at number two is because of the high level fighter that I was facing and the fact that I was losing. And then he tried that little circus <laughs> craziness right there, and all it took was one shot, and it was 99. Look at this. Whoa! Lean back, baby. Lean back and just touch him on the chin. He didn't have his guard up, man. He didn't have his guard up. They tell you in all the MMA schools and karate schools, got to keep that guard up. Here we go, baby. Number one. I'm pumped up. And it's Ferguson again. Here it comes. Oh! <laughs> that came out of nowhere, baby. I couldn't even build it up because it was just coming out of nowhere. But my opponent decided to taunt me like a tough guy, like a rude boy. And he ended up getting KO'd, man. And that goes down as my number one KO while playing EA Sports UFC 3 beta. <laughs> oh, poor Conor McGregor is down and out for the count. Look at this. Count, don't count your lucky stars. Count your lucky chops. <laughs> but anyhow, people, you could tell I'm pumped up, man. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. Let me know if you want to see more of these top tens, man. It doesn't have to be just KOs, man. It could be anything. Top ten submissions. Top ten losses. Top ten wins. Let me know in the comment section below, man. Have a great day. Have a great week, man. Happy holidays. You guys are the best, man. And I'm out of here. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.